Hi, we're back. I'm Paul Sherratt. And I'm Martin Brennan. And this is the Goalkeeping Podcast. So, here's one for you. We talk a lot about in general. Just yeah, we talk a lot. Yeah, we talk. <laughs> we talk a lot. But we talk a lot about keepers and who we admire and who you coach and you know. So it got me thinking. Let's say we have a blank piece of paper, and we have the ability to create from scratch. I know where this is going. The ultimate. Right. Go. Let's call him Robo Keeper. He's the ultimate goalkeeper. Is that linked to a film? Is it the traditional it, Robocop? I don't know whether he he should be... I think it's a, probably a human. Okay. So it's a human being. Yeah. Otherwise, we're bringing in a cyborg and bringing all sorts of technology. Yeah, yeah. No one to score ever. No, exactly. Because he'd be too, <laughs> I mean, it'd be too quick. Yeah. So let's take... Within the realms of human abilities, as we understand them at the yeah. moment... We're going to cr- create. Now, this is going to date me because it's just popped into my head. Um, there'll be a lot of viewers and listeners that, that won't get this, but do you remember the movie Weird Science? Yes. Couple of it was weird. Couple of teenagers created the ultimate woman. Actually, it was Kelly LeBrock. Weird Science. Yes. Go and look it up. Anyway, so we're the two nerdy teenagers tapping away at the computer, creating this. Robo keeper. Do I have to be a nerdy one? We're both nerdy ones. That's <laughs> it's that's, that's, that's uh, fine. fine. That's okay. Good. So so I, where do, do we do we go head to toe? Where do we? Where do, I, well, would, well, I don't know. Where, what's okay? Height's going to be the obvious one that everyone's going to okay. go. Okay. Let's let's what height let's debate height be? then. Okay. We're just typing in now. So it's in it's the a, height it's field. A six foot something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a horror movie, doesn't it? Okay, it's six foot. Zone. Why is it? Why is it over six foot? I think dictated to by the size of the goal. I actually had this conversation in my head on my own this morning. That's, Generally, that's scary. Yeah, weirdly enough. Yeah, as a nerd, I am. Yeah, um, or I've just found out I am. Yeah, that what? Why do we want tall goalies? And I'm trying to work out, and we all look for them, but I think it's more the point of the fact of. It's the reach, uh, is in diving. It's the the general physical presence in the goal in terms of the striker shooting, and I think it's obviously for crosses. Right, crosses is an obvious. It's an obvious one that um, I'm never. We think about it, but I've never really sat and gone, "What is that perfect, perfect height?" I would say for all the goalies I've worked with, I've worked with a goalie. The tallest I've worked with is six foot nine, which is kind of a little bit of a, re- a record. Yeah. But what but are I they like on, on, on the low? I'd say it's too tall. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're too tall. I think I think six, I want to say six three or six four. So I'll leave that to you. That extra inch. My guess would be if you took an average of the heights of all the keepers in the Premier League, for example. Yeah. You'd probably be at about six two, wouldn't you? Yeah. I still feel that the per- if we're we're talking about the, per- the perfect, I'm going, going six, six three. Okay, yeah, so I'm going we're, six three. We're, we're locking in six three. Do you want to go six three or six four? Because I'm I'm really debating whether it's six three or four. We can go six. Three, Let's go six four. We can go six three point five because you know we we can create. We, we can, can do whatever. Let's go. Let's, let's meet class. in the middle. Yeah. Let's just go. It's a six three point five. Then what? That's six six foot three and a half inches. You got it if you're six three, didn't you? Sorry, you <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we, okay. six three, and that's and because um, stati- all of those elements, reach, etc. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule because I'm thinking the NBA analogy. If you if we yeah. were creating the NBA player, you'd want them tall, but mm. there are five foot eleven NBA stars that have yeah. become superstars because they can. They can jump, they can shoot, they can do all the skills. So yeah. we're not saying if you're five foot eleven, you couldn't become a world class goalkeeper. What we're saying is robo keeper, yeah. the optimum that we think is six foot three and a half inches. Do we know a factory that could produce this, by the way? It's all uh I know they're human, but I wanna just it's our long term goal. I wanna make sure <laughs> yeah, so- that we could potentially produce this. It may well be if we really want to stretch this. Yeah. 
premise. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of money going into football at the moment and looking to buy the ultimate players. Maybe in 100 years' time, 200 years' time, the investment is all in genetics and the football clubs are actually creating the ultimate player, not not buying them, not transfer, not buying them from someone. They're creating the ultimate team. And they're watching this podcast because this is going to be the first. They'll look back and go, yeah. "Do you remember when, they had it when Brennan and Sherrett on the goalkeeping podcast talked about Robo Keeper? Yeah. They were right at the forefront of genetic technology and evolution in global soccer." Mm. Heard it here first, right? Okay, so we've got the height. Are we going to go head down? Because I feel like I want to say this okay, already. Okay, go on. You I go want to go really long hair. And I'll be really honest with you, I'm not completely you entirely throw me sure a bit. why. No. I just think that if you've got someone more of a ponytail, gladiator y type esque, because I'm assuming we're going to go for a decent frame. Well, we haven't got to that step. Don't, let's not jump the gun. Right. I'm going to go long hair, because I assume we're going to go that way with the frame. I just think for the look of the crowd, I just think it looks a bit, can I say sexier? Yeah, but I mean, David Seaman in, uh, his, in, his, in his ponytail. Yeah. You can't say he looks sexy, can you? No, but but his game was like, he's probably one of the best still that's lived. But he was very simple in what he'd done. Now, if you put Yeah, that but we're on talking a, about the pony. Forget the, the ability. The hair we're had creating. A the hair had a ponytail. Okay, if, that's okay. Is he a better keeper now without his ponytail than he was a few years ago when he had his ponytail? No. Oh, I just think he looks better that he's got a ponytail. So I don't know why. But listen, you, you go what you want to go. You want to go short, bald? What, what I think there's two for? things. The, I think there's the the abilities that we want to create in this robo keeper to be yeah. the best goalkeeper. Yeah. And then there's, there's there's these whole periphery elements around looks and commercialization that if, I and mean, let's say we're, we're, we're sticking with a male keeper at the moment, if he's a good-looking guy then bear in my mind, we might be the club. So we, we're going to sell more replica shirts. Yeah. We're going to be more profile. We're going to get more sponsors in because he's the, he's the handsome guy. Yeah. So again, I'm going to throw that back at you. If in today, 2022, are you a handsome guy with, are you recognising society as being more handsome and chiselled with or without a ponytail? The chiselled... Uh... I hate to say it's probably Son's pony. The ponytail is out, I'm afraid. You're saying that was very yesterday and today is very much what? We don't know in 20, 30, 10, 5. I mean, you know, you could say stick him in a mullet. Because that would be it's very today, on trend. It? Yeah, it's not today. So I think we've got to, he's got okay. to be timeless. So I think we go classic, chisel, good looks. We don't need to talk Fine. about anything more really okay. around that because... So we'd like to, but that's fine. We'll lock that in. He's six foot three and a half. He's a good yeah. looking chap. Yeah. Frame, build, call it what you will. Where, where does that sit? I'd like to go more with like a swimmer's build. So a triangle. Kind of. An upside down. Yeah, one. but I don't want. Uh, yeah. I've, I've, I've not seen goalies for like two, three years in a row and then seen them again and they've got way too. But that would be a swimmer's build. Would be big top and, and skinny waist. I think swimmers are like the fittest athletes, but we don't want too much width upstairs. We just want to bring it in a little bit. So if we're looking at measurables, I think it's going to be hard for me to say what measurable it's going to be. Um, I I naturally like the, the the swimmers. As you can see, I I Ta swim a lot. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Game and table oh, yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thinking darts and a pint, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll come, come on to that. Okay. So really what... Well, let, actually, let's think about that because why are swimmers triangular? They're very muscular. Yeah. So let's think about the mus... Do, do you need to be muscular to be the most efficient goalkeeper? Or if you do, where do you need... Where do you need your muscular strength? Maybe we should look at the frame as a whole. Yeah. 
and we can zoom in and go, actually, he really needs to have muscular quads or muscular calves yeah, your or muscular... Your legs have got to be up there, aren't they, with, with with the strength for, you know, 1v1 situations where you're going to be moving around quickly, your distribution, the spring, the kicking movement, it. The... Yeah, to, yeah, in top corners, coming out for crosses. You know, you like to think your legs are going to be strong for that. Um, your upper body wants to be a decent size, so when, the, you know, the big centre fall comes in and hits you from across, you're going to be able to just take the impact of that. Um, Core, stomach muscles, everything there thing. needs to be strong, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, catching balls, turning, rotating, again coming for crosses, being able to stay strong, staying strong in your core, kicking when you, uh, you know, when you're kicking off the floor again comes from core. So the core, that's why I just think swimmers one, but not these guys that are like silly, silly wide. So if we, I'm just typing it in now into the computer because that's how we're making this uh, Robo Keeper. Yeah. So we're saying lean and muscular frame. Yeah. Brackets, not too muscular on the top. Close brackets. Does this just come out of the hole or something? How, how does this? How do we actually get this robot just out of interest? Or is it like delivered? Under like Amazon, just order it on Amazon. Cabbage, and it comes to the door. It comes under like all babies, cabbage under the under the cabbage patch in the garden. Oh, oh so we're grow, we growing it. <laughs> Imagine you got to grow it. <laughs> That's not the, the pelican. The, the pelican drops it out the sky. It depends where you're listening in the world, doesn't it? But I don't know if we ca- it's coming as a final product. Yeah, I think it should come finished in. or are we growing. It's these? a bo- boxed fresh, box fresh, cyber golly. Nice um, size of feet. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. Mm. As is size of hands. We need to come back to that as well. Size of feet. Size of feet. I think if your feet are too, too big, and there's no truth to this, just my feeling, that you can, it can be a little bit more clumpy. Yeah. But if they're too small, it goes against you and it's a disadvantage in terms of foot saves. Exactly. If you make foot saves, you've got a great group of feet. Absolutely. Bonus. Yeah. But if you're playing out and you've got to move the ball quick, sometimes I think it's a slight disadvantage having bigger feet. See, if I'm size, if I'm six, six, three and a half, size, Eleven feet aren't going to look out of out of kilter, are they? No, but if we can get size five, we can go to baby gap, and it's a lot cheaper for we us. We save to... on the VAT for a start because no VAT and yeah. shoes. We just save a lot of money, don't we? Just dressing not, the goalie it's up. Not, it's not efficient, though, is it? Depends what club he's at. <laughs> That's another thing, isn't it? We could be if we're in the we right done, club, We're not even on club yet. We're, we're in the, the right prem. We're struggling. The, he hasn't even been born yet. <laughs> but we need to know where he's going to shop. This is so important. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, no, he's going to be because spo- he's going to be sponsored. He's going to be a sponsor. He's not going to shop because he's he's the ultimate yeah. goalkeeper athlete. Everybody in the world aspires to be Robo Keeper. So we don't need to worry about shopping because he's going to get everything. For, he's, going to, he's a sponsored athlete. Well, so I think I... size eleven. Size eleven. Size eleven. Boot. Size eleven boot. Oh, I'd have disagreed. I'd have got nine and a half. Would you? Mm. Just I don't know why. I just I'm but a size What about 10 foot saves? If you've got bigger feet for foot saves. Yeah, but if we're talking about and kicking having the ball the best goalie ever. Yeah. He's probably not needs his feet, is he? Because he'd be so quick, he'll just literally pick the ball out one out. Ah, but you miss you're missing the, the, the kick. Is it an advantage to have bigger feet when you're kicking the ball? Yes. But if you're making foot saves, it means that they're normally means the ball's coming way too quick for you to get down or they're shooting close. But if our goalie's unbelievably quick, which he is, he's just literally going to pick the ball up as they shoot it at 80 miles an hour. It's just no effort for him. Well, he's, so I've said foot saves, but I've got Well, back he's on still, that. no, he's, he's still, we define that he has to have the abilities within the current realms of right. human abilities. And oh, therefore. Okay. He's it's not he's not a robo keeper in the true sense of you know Sorry, he's, he he's yeah. he's he's so good he's anticip his yeah, his yeah. reactions are point he's so quick that he just does that. Yeah, so by okay. the way, if those on the podcast does that was a quick uh, <laughs> hand movement because they wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about. I'll go eleven then as well. Right, I'm I'm locking in. Can we go ten and a half? Just I'm locking in the, com- specific, the compromise we? again. Yeah. We'll go ten and a half. half perfect. Um, okay, so we think now, now, now. So then we're on to hand size. Hand size. Yeah. Which I'd love your take on this because you know you've got on the one hand you know you you shovel hands guys. Yeah. 
and you've got on the other hand your normal both of which have uh, have played at the highest levels in the game yeah and the where I'm going to go with this you might have you might have your first um glove glue complaint oh. because I would like to go for a size 22 because I don't see any benefit in having small hands and you obviously don't do size 22 that's genius because that's why would genius. you go less what's, what's the advantage of having a small hand as a goalie I don't see any what's the advantage no because you move and they're not getting in the way that you're getting there's no reason to have small hands as a goalie if we're choosing that is genius actually so I'm going size 22. Big hands. And a half. Because <laughs> we're half in everything, right? So you would know this. So again, for our listeners, the most popular size of a goalkeeping glove are the popular sizes. And really, guess really, really, you guess it, yeah. Go Can on. I? Yeah. Nine. Eight and a half to nine, but oh. not every brand does eight and a half. So yes, so nine is Bob on. Yeah. So your av- so your average goalkeeper glove size is a size nine. Yeah, you're going twenty two. So yeah. That's that's one and a half times bigger than my. I'm an eight. So I'm ne- nearly three times my hand size. Are there any downsides with that? Well, then you go. Well, let's make it a forty a forty two. Yeah, that's silly. Isn't it? It's going too far. <laughs> <laughs> The only problem you got with them in size forties is that you ain't gonna be able to do your laces up because your fingers are too big. Where twenty, <laughs> that's why I went twenty two. I didn't go silly, silly. You far didn't. You went twenty two and a half, didn't you? Or something. Twenty two and a half. Yeah, yeah. Not twenty three. Because twenty three, you won't be able to do laces. Twenty two and a half. Twenty two be, be okay. Fine. That's the optimum. Yeah, completely. Um, yeah, I don't see any any advantage. Let's, in that let's lock it in. We're, we're locking it in. Twenty two and a half glove <laughs> size. I need to get um, onto the product team now and get. A Perfect, pair of yeah. twenty-two and a half, yeah, developed to bring it to market for him. I'm amazed you don't do twenty-two, 22 and a half anyway. But listen, it is what it is, isn't it? Well, that's a good question, actually. So it's a bit like shoes. So in goalkeeping gloves, yeah, most brands would go up to eleven. Yeah, you, you see very few brands going into a twelve. A bit like shoe sizes. Yeah, you might go to a twelve, maybe. But of course, again, going back to basketball, you've got these guys that are in size 20s, size yeah. 22s. These things are boats. Crazy. Which makes me think, evolutionary, why are there athletes, people, human beings out there with big feet, size 22, 24 even, yeah. which mine are a size 8, so that is 3. There are people out there with feet that are three times the size of mine. But I don't know many people with hands that are three sizes, the three times the size, which which suggests that evolutionary, yeah, it's not a good thing to have big hands aside from not being able to tie your shoelaces, because ev- because evolutionary there would be human beings out there that would evolve to have big hands. I just feel using the word evolutionary on a goalkeeping <laughs> podcast has just lost so many, <laughs> so many of us, right. That's goalie. Should we take? <laughs> yeah, because this is no, I, I, and I take the point because this is a very serious discussion about, um, you know, the ultimate goalkeeper, isn't it? <laughs> so what is there to sort out? So let's go. Let's think about. It. So we've done g- working head down. We've done good looking chap, six foot yeah. three and a half. Yeah, uh, size twenty two and a half hands, hands, muscular but lean frame. Yeah, brackets uh, not triangular. Yes, uh, muscle legs things core whatever. Yeah. Size, uh, what feet did we go for? Uh, nine and a half. No, ten and a half. Size ten and a half feet. Ten and a half. So I think that's the physical attributes. Hobbit, can we just throw in what the favourite <laughs> hobby's going to be, please? No, because okay. <laughs> we haven't got time on the podcast for hobby. Fine. Physical attributes, mental attributes. Mental attributes. I mean... So we're programming the brain now. We've programmed the body. We're now just yeah. finishing off. We're programming the brain. Would you want the goalie to just have an ability to focus just on the ball? I don't know. I'm, why are you asking me? I'm, I'm, I'm not the goalkeeper. That's very, very true. Um, <laughs> Let me ask I'm you, just, would you want the goalkeeper just know. to have the ability to focus on the ball? No. No. Because the they've got to read the game. Being, they've got to, yeah. you know, 
yeah. there's so much more to the position. Otherwise, you're being derogatory to the okay, position so, that you've been come associated with. So this goalie years. is completely fearless. Good. Completely. Yeah. Extremely confident, but doesn't go over the line of arrogance. Yeah. Because I struggle with the arrogance part. Yeah. yeah. Um, and fits in sociably to the group outstandingly. Like yeah. the the team have all personally invited him as the best man at their wedding. So our goalie has got yeah. an invitation to seventeen weddings yeah. where he's best man at everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Of which she may even decide last minute that she's going to marry the goalie and not the player. Yeah, you got to be careful wedding. with that. Yeah. Fine. So I don't think she would, because his hands are <laughs> his hands are so big. That it's great for Kate. <laughs> she might be put off by his big big hands. So fearless, confident, um, sociably that yeah, clearly captain, clearly club captain. Yeah. Um, I, for me, I don't think there's much much else. I think if you're fearless um, and you're confident in your own beliefs. I don't know what else we can we can offer him. I still feel there's a hobby in there, but I'm happy to do that for another episode. If you want to throw a hobby in there, what yeah. what what I'll give you one hobby. Okay. I would like the hobby to be that he likes going to his nans and watching Netflix with his nan. Love it. By drinking tea and eating biscuits. He really is the ultimate. Yeah. This guy. That's it. Yeah. Okay. He's charity. He loves putting money in his charity. Yeah. He's investing time in charity. Yeah. Um I can see him being the PM one day. Don't might want be, that. Might be overstepping the mark a bit. I think we're going a bit too far. But I think we've now. I think what's interesting to me. <laughs> we've gone too far. <laughs> we've got a size twenty-two and a half glove. <laughs> yeah, but you overstep the mark. He like, watched so. Netflix. So he's Nans. Team <laughs> <laughs> biscuits. All that's fine, but being PM, that's just ridiculous. That's just right. crazy. I actually, that's a really interesting. That's joking aside. Right. What an interesting exercise. Because I'm going to now throw it back at you and go, yeah. okay, you're coaching kids, adults. None of them have all of those attributes. So out of everything we've just given, robo keeper, all those bits we've talked about, big hands, big feet, That's whatever. Question. Number one, number one, what's his best, his best attribute out of all of those that is Will be the most important is the most important elephant elephant <laughs> elephant in the room <laughs> the, the, the most important element of him being number one from our the previous best podcasts. I'm answering a question with a question. What do you think I'm going to say from our previous podcast? I hate it when you throw it back at me. That's just like avoiding the question, really, isn't it? It goes to the PM again, doesn't it? I, we've talked a lot about attitude. Confidence. Confidence in yourself. I just think if, you, if you're confident in yourself and what you're offering, I just think you give yourself the best opportunity. The minute you start doubting yourself, which we've heard on pre- previous podcasts that we've gone through my, my, my plan background, yeah. uh, if you don't back yourself and you're not confident in yourself, what are you doing? It's a waste of time. So I'm, I'm really, really big on this. Really big. So... How do you build that? You build that by, you know, putting yourself out there, may having a few knock- knockdowns, a few rejections, um, but having that fight back ability to go, no, I am. I am good at what I do and I'm going to keep looking at the positives and not the negatives. We need to change that title. Too many keep looking at negatives all the time. Yeah, it's true. That was good. Yeah, but I did do that wrong. No, rubbish. You're outstanding today. My language has changed with so many goalies. Yeah. So many. Yeah. How good... Was you in that session today? Yeah, but what about that? I'll say it again. How good was you in that? Yeah, I was quite. And they walk away with a smile, you know. So for me, out of what you the, the question, answer that question one billion percent. It's got to be having the confidence in yourself without a shadow. Okay. And long hair. Does it name? I think at that stage, I think we. <laughs> <laughs> Martin and I are now going to disappear off and think of a name for RoboKeeper. Hey, that's a bit of fun, but hopefully, again, there's some takeaways there that um, skills that you have, attributes that you have or don't have, how you can improve them, get better with them. Um, we're off to find a name 
for RoboKeeper and to create him. And uh, next time you see us, um, who knows? Uh, he might be joining us on the next podcast. That was the Goalkeeping Podcast. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you'd like to become a better goalkeeper, then check out developinggoalkeeping.com where you'll find podcasts, tips, videos and more.